It's June 1919, World War One is over. There's huge social unrest. The working class are angry. Ernest Mark was a seafarer from Sierra Leone in West Africa. While he was living in Liverpool, he joined the army to defend the motherland in their hour of need. Because after all, he said and done, there was Lord Kitchener pointing his finger at everybody. Your king and country want, want you. And we considered ourselves, well, that the country is our country and the king is our king. So we march along with them. The next thing we know, we were in the recruiting office. Black and Asian people played an absolutely crucial role during World War I, as the British call for patriotic support was heard throughout the empire. Many men and women answered that call, leaving their homelands to contribute as soldiers, sailors, labourers and nurses. For example, around one and a half million Indian soldiers and over 16,000 men from the Caribbean fought or served. In Liverpool, men who were born here and those who resided here enlisted in the armed forces. During the war, there were a lot of jobs. Anybody can get a job at the munition factories. The colour didn't mind. Black, white, yellow, green, air. Everybody can work. After the job was over, and they were all demoralized. The white soldiers they seemed to forget that the black man was also in the Navy and the Army with them. And they couldn't get the jobs. And they demanded that these black people would leave the factory so they can get in. They were Englishmen. These black people were savages from Africa. So the race riot started. A gang attacked and um, they got really mad. Some of them took off their clogs, because many used to wear clogs in those days. Took off their clogs and leave him alone, leave him alone, he's done nothing to you. you know, because they, they got me. You see, and all I could do was fixing my hand all, all over me. <laughs> I couldn't fight, punching anything, punching the air, punching anything. See, finally, I ran and got away from them. Charles Wharton was a Bermudan seafarer, 24 years old. His boarding house was raided by police. He fled and was chased by an angry white mob into the river here and was then pelted with stones until he drowned. The homes of black men and their families were looted and burnt. Imagine the racial abuse. Imagine the hurt felt by these families, 700 of whom were marched to local police stations and fire stations and housed there for their own safety. A friend and I, a West Indian from St. Lucia, uh, we were going to see a friend in Brown Hill, Liverpool, this was. This gang spotted us. Before we knew what was happening, they were chasing us. So we ran like hair. <laughs> A woman opened the door. I mean, they were all white women. There were no black women <laughs> in those days. So my friend and I ran around the corner into the hallway, and we found the door open. We came in. The woman shut the door and went up to upstairs. He made us a cup of tea while she looked through the window to see if everything is all right. And it wasn't long after when she said, OK, you can go now. Now, she saved our lives. Thank you.